Hello folks, this is uh, uh, 2017, October, November, paper 42, and the question number is 11. It is concerned with alternating current. The circuit for a full wave rectifier, so this is a bridge type rectifier using four ideal diodes is shown in figure 11.1. .1. So four diodes, a source here, load here, two terminals shown AB here. A resistor R is connected across the output AB of the resistor. So a resistor here connected here. So uh, the first question is on figure 11.1, .1, draw a circle around any diodes that conduct when the terminal X of the input is positive with respect to the terminal Y. So when X is positive, so when X is positive, so this thing becomes positive, this thing will be negative, mm, of course. So this positive means that uh, this is P sides of the diet connected to positive. This will be 0, 0, but this 0 will be negative for this thing. So negative inside. So this thing conducts. And here also it is a minus. Negative inside is connection, connection with the uh, negative. This is 0. 0 is uh, somewhat uh, like positive for this. So positive with uh, P side, negativity inside. So this conducts. So we have to encircle these two uh, these two diodes so this diode conducts and this diode also conducts we have to put a circle there so label the uh, positive and the negative terminals of the output a b so the rule is that the golden rule uh, in 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 these things is that the positive side of resistor will be that side which is in contact with the contact with the joint with the joint where insides of the diodes meet so the positive side of the resistor will be at that point that is side where the insides of the diode meet so 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 this should be this should be uh, this should be positive and this should be negative so i can uh, put it here as well and here as well so the side will be negative then uh, in number in the other number what you have is the variation with time t of the potential difference uh, v across the input x, y is given by this thing where v is in uh, volts and t is in seconds, t in seconds. The variation with the time t of the rectified PD across the resistor is as shown. So this is the uh, variation. The peak value is at, uh, so this is 4, 5. So it should be 5.2, 5.4, 5.6. So peak value is at 5.6. Use the expression for the uh, input potential difference v or otherwise. To determine the RMS PD here, so V RMS should be equal to RMS should be equal to V peak by root two, and the value of V peak is as we have done it here, it is 5.6, so 5.6 by root two, and that becomes equal to equally equally equal to 4.0 volt. So V RMS is equal to 4.0 volt. So not much difficult then 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 the next part the number of times per second that the rectified potential difference at the output reaches a peak value so it is somewhat concerned with frequency so what you do is first of all we have to find the frequency of the ac now if you go through this wave this wave this say 380 is equal to omega omega is the angular velocity and it's equal to 2 pi f so that means f is equal to 380 by 2 pi and if I use the calculator if I use the calculator here the value of f will be f will be uh, 60.5 hertz 60.5 hertz so the frequency of AC being provided to the rectifier is 60.5 uh, hertz that is 60.5 times per second so it means that so the input uh, AC is somewhat like this it comes here it comes here and it goes like this like this so the time period is from here to here for the main supply but here time period is like this so the time period is half half means the frequency in this case is doubled the rectified output has its frequency double because it reaches peak uh, twice faster than the than the input so here the number of times per second that the rectified PD at the is a peak value means that is the frequency of the rectified output and it's equal to twice f. So this f prime is equal to twice f and that's equal to 2 into 60.5 and that's equal to 121 hertz. 
So it is 121 hertz or simply 121 is the number per second. So it is 121 per second. Second, now the next question says a capacitor is now connected between the output terminals uh, uh, terminals terminals AB of the output the capacitor reduces the variation the ripple to in the output to 1.6 volt ripple means the difference between maximum and minimum value so that is 1.6 so if this is a 5.6 year 5.6 year the lowest value should be 1.6 less than this which is 4.0 4.0 so highest value 5.6 and lowest value 4.0 on figure 11.2 so this figure sketch the variation with the time t of the smoothed output voltage for time t equal to 1 to t equal to t2 so here we have to draw the variation now so if the variation reaches to uh, from 5.6 to it is 4.0 so 4.0 5.6 5.6 5.6, 4.0, and uh, not the other. So what I do, can do is, so from T1, it must go like this. It must go like this, slightly concave upward, concave upward. It rises up till here. Then it again falls. It falls. It rises rises and again falls and then again rises so we are required to draw till from point t1 to t2 only so slightly concave upward and convex downward now the last question is search and explain the effect if any on the mean power dissipation in resistor r when the capacitor is connected across the terminal so it asks us the mean power and what we have to know from here is the mean power will be increased will be increased it's because it's because we know that power is equal to v square by r v square by r or i can say v rms square by r so what happens here is what happens here is here here uh, the variation goes from here to zero so the average will be somewhat average will be somewhat here somewhat here and now the variation is only up to here so that means the average will definitely be more so if the average will be more then definitely the power dissipation will also be more so that's why so what do we have is smoothing smoothing increases the increases the average average voltage voltage and current current so so power dissipation power dissipation should increase should increase